In this video, I'm going to talk about why I believe we're at the end of the toothpaste supply in our toothpaste tube of the economy's economic growth. Over the last six months, we have seen enormous growth in the housing market, sales through the roof, mortgage prices at all time lows. And here in Florida on the panhandle, you're getting a people buying homes without even looking at them physically. A buddy of mine just recently sold his place here on the panhandle, put it on the market 24 hours ha later, had a full on bid above asking and sold the house cash deal out in 30 days. Existing home sales fell from October to November by two and a half percent according to the National Association of Realtors. Now, that hasn't happened in six months. Six months have we not seen a fall in existing home sales. Prices and mortgages are at all time lows. Could it be a seasonal thing? Could it be because it is December or the fall and as we enter the uh, winter months, home sales typically go down? Of course, that typically happens. But the question is that I have is that because housing prices have skyrocketed, lumber costs have skyrocketed, these parabolic moves that we have seen in stocks and housing, are they about to come down? To build a home, it costs even more now. Because lumber prices have gone up so much in the last six, nine months, that it's getting ridiculous to build a home. Here in Florida, where I live, you're looking at $250 to $500 a square foot, depending on what additions and really sparkly things you add to your home. Who can afford this? We have been in a recession. This is an environment where people aren't making their money that they used to. The economy isn't growing like it used to. But if you look at housing numbers and the increase in housing sales, you would think, are we really in a recession? I think what you have to realize is that the majority of Americans are in a recession. Where I live, they're in a bull market. We haven't seen home supply at this low since 1982. Because of this low supply, we're now seeing housing prices from a year ago go up 14.6% to a average medium house, house price of $310,800. The problem is, your income hasn't increased 14.6%, has it? Now you may be a savvy investor and been making tons of money in this market, but the average American, well, they haven't. And that is a challenge for the economy to grow. And this is where I start to say, we're getting to the end of the toothpaste in the toothpaste tube. Another confirmation of my concern about the end of the toothpaste supply, initial jobs claims, which is a uh, indicator of unemployment rate, future unemployment rates, rose again from September to December. A big number increase over September. That's a concern of mine. If there are more people finding un unemployment, especially in the Christmas season, where people are typically buying and needing part-time work at least, you're seeing jobless claims go up. And for a second consecutive month, we've seen retail sales fall by 11%. And it's Christmas time. Typically, this is where people make a ton of money in retail. The other concern I have is that initial jobless claims rose to its highest level since September. And we're in a, an environment that supposedly the economy is growing. This is concerning. Yes, I'm at the beach wearing gloves and a hat. It's not warm here in Northern Florida. I know what you're thinking. How can the economy be in the tank when every house I've gone by has, is being built? Well, to give you an idea, this is a house on the beach here in Northern Florida. Chances are it'll go on the market for about $10 million and somebody will pay cash. But who is that? And does that represent America in general? And the answer is no. According to the Commerce Board, 
The first couple of weeks of December, we saw a consumer confidence level drop to 88.6%. It revised from 80 or 92.9% in November. America is not confident right now about the economy. And then there's the stimulus package. The economy really isn't doing better. If you're a restaurant owner, you're definitely not doing better. Maybe here on the Panhandle, but if you're in New York or California or really throughout the world in the rise of coronavirus cases going up, well, chances are you're struggling. The economy really isn't doing that much better. I know the numbers say we are, but consumer confidence is down. Retail sales are down. Supply of homes is down. The cost of lumber has gone up. Commodity prices have gone up and the dollar has devalued. This is a recipe for slowing economy, recessionary environment, and oh, by the way, debt levels are going through the roof. When debt levels go up and you see slowing growth, what does that mean? Does that remind you of your grandmother's stories from the 1920s, 1930s of the Great Depression? Well, economically, yeah. When I first got into investing and managing money for individuals, I was taught the presidential cycle, the four-year cycle, that the economy moved in four-year cycles. Well, today, I don't look out any further than 180 days. And the reason is, our world has drastically changed because of technology, because of the flow of money, because of the printing of money. I mean, overall, I'm looking at the market, I'm looking at housing, I'm looking at the economy in 90-day terms. And this is where my toothpaste theory comes into play. So here's my theory about using the analogy of a toothpaste tube. When you get the toothpaste tube, you have full toothpaste. You can squeeze as much as you want on your toothpaste or toothbrush. Well, think of it as April, when we got the stimulus package of upwards of $3 trillion. And everybody started getting checks. And then interest rates went to all-time lows and mortgage rates went to all-time lows. Well, this is a full toothpaste bottle. And then we got to July, and now I would say we're halfway through it. And now today, we're in December, and we're now taking the tube against the counter and squeezing from the bottom to the top just to get a little bit left. And my belief is that we've got 90 days to maybe, I don't know, four months left of toothpaste in the economy. I use the analogy of a toothpaste tube. You get the initial tube and you're full of toothpaste. There's no worry about brushing your teeth every morning, of running out. And that's where we were in April. And we had enough money, three trillion plus dollars into the stimulus into the economy. We got into July and we're seeing all time sales in uh, housing prices, we're seeing lumber prices at all-time highs, we're seeing stock market hit all-time highs. And about that time, we're halfway through the, the toothpaste tube. We get to December, where we're at today, and retail sales are down, consumer confidence is down, housing supply numbers are down, and the cost of a home has gone up 14.6% in a year. Totally unrealistic, right? Well, now we're at the very end of the toothpaste tube. We're now squeezing the tube from the bottom to the top. We're running the tube down the edge of our counter to squeeze out the, just the last drop. And to me, what I see is that a, that's 90, 90 more days of supply in the economy. We're going to see all-time highs in the markets. We're going to see all-time highs in housing prices, commodity prices. And then, and then we're out of toothpaste. And then we go for a week with bad breath. And the economy does so too. The growth of our economy, the cost of housing, the stimulus packages, this is just way too short. I mean, you don't recover from what we're recovering from in a matter of six, nine months. I just really believe we're just at the beginning of this. Okay.